Jennifer. You might be wondering, why are you wearing an animal hat and it's almost summer? Well, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some DIY shadow box wall art slash room decor. And I'm also partnering up with Toosies for this video. Basically, Toosies is the new collectible from Moose that is all about friendship. And the line basically features Toosies characters. So you get a little baby and a pet and they do everything together. I love puns. And there are over 140 characters to collect. It's getting a little bit hot. Each Toosies character actually matches with a pet and it's basically your job to help match them together. They actually have like poses that go together. You can like turn their heads and everything which is really cool. So there are a couple of different teams. Too cute, too cool, too adventurous, and too wild. And also there are limited edition ones from the too precious category. There are actually hidden characters in each pack so you don't know what you're gonna get. And so basically you have to match them together and then you can put them into their little shadow boxes. So the shadow boxes actually come with little scenes slash background cards. With the shadow boxes you can stack them, you can put them on your desk, your shelf, or your wall, and it's just very versatile and it's great for DIYs. So each one has a different theme. You can make like your own Toosies inspired room with all of these shadow boxes. You can use the themes already provided or you can decorate it yourself. And basically that is what I'm going to be showing you guys today so without further ado let's get started feeling used but I'm Still missing you and I For this first DIY shadow box, I'm actually going to be using these large shadow boxes from Toosies. And I'm taking the blue one and I'm actually going to cover the edges with some gold leaf foil. I got this from Michaels and I just thought it would go better with my room. So I'm also taking some eyelash glue and that is going to act as my adhesive. So when eyelash glue dries, it actually dries tacky and that's exactly what what we want. So instead of having to buy the expensive gold leaf foil adhesive, you can just use lash glue. So after that is dry and it becomes tacky, I'm just going to press on my gold leaf and peel it off. And I'm just going to do that around all the edges. And then I'm going to brush off any of the excess. And when that is complete, you have your gold foil edging. Now I'm going to trace my shadow box onto a piece of glitter foam board. I'm going to cut that out with my scissors and this is going to be our backdrop you can choose any kind of pattern you want I just wanted mine to be kind of glittery and gold themed so now I'm taking out the little scene cards from the sides and I'm going to trace that onto a piece of white cardstock just so that everything will just mesh together more and I also cut out a piece of white paper for the bottom now I'm using my foam letters and I'm spelling out the word laugh and then I'm going to place that onto my backdrop and peel off the backing and then just stick it onto my backdrop. Now I'm actually taking some twine and my hot glue gun and I'm kind of just gluing that down in a diagonal kind of clothesline kind of thing if that makes sense. And I'm also taking some different patterns of paper and I'm cutting tiny little triangles out of that because I'm basically making a little banner. So I'm taking my hot glue gun and gluing a line across the top of the little triangle and gluing it onto my twine. Actually I'm taking the plastic packaging that comes with the twosies and I'm cutting off the top part so that it can cover our little shadow box so it just looks a little bit more like a real glass shadow box and I thought it just looked a bit more professional looking the second DIY shadow box idea. I'm using these fabric flowers that I got from the dollar store and these are going to be our backdrop. So I'm taking my glue gun and just gluing them down to the back of the shadow box. Then I repeated the same process that I did with the first shadow box. So using my eyelash glue and then sticking on my gold foil. And then I actually printed out two words, be wild, because I just thought it would be kind of cute. So I cut those out and then I actually cut another piece of that plastic box out for the cover. I flipped over the letters onto the back of the piece of plastic and if you rub it it'll actually stay because um, they're static but just to be a little bit more secure I added some lash glue because that's what I had on hand. You can use any glue that works. 
And then finally, I just use my glue gun to glue the top on and that is it. It is super simple and I think it turned out super cute. <laughs> this next DIY shadow box idea, I'm using the little stackable ones, which I think are awesome because you can literally make so many different patterns. So I'm actually gluing down these paper roses into each of the little boxes, and I actually made these in a previous DIY video, so if you want to know how to make these roses, then click on the screen right now, or I will leave the link in the description below. And that is basically it. It's so simple. I just wanted to do some roses because I was going for that floral theme. And for the last idea, I'm stacking up my little boxes into a 3, 2, and 1 combo. So I'm actually going to take out the scene cards and trace 3 of the same color and then 2 of the same color and then 1 of 1 color. So it's kind of confusing when I say it, but you'll see when I show you. So as you can see, I had 3 at the top, 2 of the second color, and 1 of the last color. And I'm just putting those sheets into the slots and then I'm just stacking them up and I think this is just an easy like really easy way to create some wall art because it's very simplistic and it's very easy to create but yeah that is pretty much it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give it a big old thumbs up that is about it I will see you guys next time